The health of Aboriginal Canadians has been compromised by a number of issues. One barrier is the difficulty they face keeping healthcare professionals in their communities and educating local ones. That shortage has meant that in many northern communities, pregnant women are flown south for four to six weeks to have their babies, alone. No family, no community, no one who understands their culture or their language. Birth is a natural process and Aboriginal people's view of that is that, you know, it's an event that affects not just the individual, but family, clans, nations, um, and communities. And when so many women have to leave their communities to have babies, that has a negative effect on the overall health status of these populations. We know in Canadian society that communities that are cohesive on behalf of children make a big difference. And we also know that huge amounts of mobility and residential instability negatively affects their development. And therefore, midwife programs, if they're delivered effectively and allow children in northern or remote communities to be born in those communities, have the potential to strengthen community around children. That's why Nunavut developed a new program in Rankin Inlet to train and educate local midwives. It's one part of the closer to home strategy to improve population health in the north. Rachel Jones and Diane Tic-Tac are students breaking new ground in their community. They are helping in the development of a unique curriculum that combines Western practice and Inuit traditions. The education is closer to home as well. Why not do it in your home community and your family can be there, your friends? You're not alone through that experience. Your baby moving a lot. Need to educate the Inuit people to take on professional roles so that things like having to leave home to get health care mm -hmm. can be prevented. And this continuity of care is like, it's, I think it would benefit a lot. I have worked with over 50 different midwives. The turnover rate is very, very high, and that's why it's so very important for us to educate local people. With BART being around 20 weeks... The course is designed to give adult learners the best chance to succeed. Students can exit the program, work for a while, and then return to school. At the end of their first year, they'll be certified maternity care workers. And at the end of the second phase, certified midwives. And the program has an optional year in partnership with the University of Manitoba for students to get their RN degree. Training and education is really vital, and especially in the northern communities, is to train your own people to provide the service instead of sending them away to get their education and then not coming home. But it's so much nicer to have your own people looking after their own people. So Brenda, how are you doing today? The midwifery program intends to have 24 new students follow Rachel and Diane over the next 12 months. One of the program's goals is to have at least one maternity care worker in each local community and to begin staffing birthing centers with Inuit midwives. And we're looking at children getting a, a real head start in life and, uh, and there's also the, the parents who are involved in, in the process. So we're looking at um, this program really being able to impact the, the health status within uh, five to ten years. The joy that is felt when a baby is born here I cannot emphasize it enough. You cannot describe it. No concerns that, that kind of joy deserves to be shared by the families and the community.